guys, it's Holly again. I am back with another pellet grab bag. Now, unfortunately, I started filming this a minute ago and I forgot I had a couple of things to finish up before I could fully film the whole thing. So this is a pellet grab bag and I already grabbed out the sleek vintage romance pellet. So we're just gonna go ahead and fly with that one. Um, oh, I can't open it now. Er, there we go, okay. So this is what it looks like. I've used this before and I've shown this before. Um, it's really pretty. I think this is like an everything palette because you get like a ton of different colors and shades. You only get one like mid-tone transition shade. Um, but I just think this is so great because there's a there's a dark deep charcoal-y uh, black here. It's like a charcoal. It's not like a, the deepest black ever but you could like create like an amazing look with all these colors. I think they're great. Anyway so Let's go ahead and get started. Now, um, I've got some blue on today, so I might just use some of these blues. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think I will. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the this shade right there, which is your mid-tone transition shade. I'm just going to get that into my crease and then we'll see what we got. Come back, y'all, for tomorrow's video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Friday fun day, y'all. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And today I've got a, a foundation on that I had just, just tried today. It was a first impression, and I'm really liking it so far. All right, so I think I might Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with this shade next. It's It's got some shimmer, but it's still really pretty. I'm gonna put that on my lid. I'm gonna go for like a blue smoky eye today. So most of that shimmer is going to be covered up, and I know some of y'all are thinking, well, why are you going to put it on there if it's not just going to be covered up? You'll see. It'll all come together. All right. So I'm going into this blue shade now, and I have not, I've only used this blue shade as like a smudgy kind of liner slash accent color. So um, we'll just see how this works out. It's got a little bit a little bit of shimmer in it so not much it's like a satin finish so let's see if we can get this on let me get a what am I doing I've got a mirror right here oh yeah look at that it's already looking really pretty just with those two so let's see what, what this blue is made of I'm off my game today y'all uh oh I brought that up a little bit higher than I wanted to, so we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna roll with it. We're, I'm just gonna pretend like I meant I totally meant to do that, and I'm gonna grab my other brush and like try and fix that. So we got a little bit of that, a little bit of that blue shade up into the crease. And I'll just pretend like I meant to do that to blend it up. Ooh, it's looking really pretty though so far. I'm gonna go ahead and use my other brush now. Get it placed where we want it. one up as well to match the other eye. I'll probably have to use my blending brush for that. Oh yeah, it's diffusing pretty good into the crease though. Oh yeah. So if you're looking for like that diffused look, 
you got it. All right, now I'm going to take the mid-tone shade that I used. Whoops, sorry guys. The mid-tone shade and the um, shimmery shade that I used. I'm going to mix those together. I'm going to bring those down here. I feel like I need a stiffer brush for that. And one of the problems that I personally have with like smoky eyes is I have so much darkness right in here. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Like it just makes my whole look my whole face just looked too dark. I'm gonna take my little smudger brush, elf smudger brush, elf, elf smudger brush, and I'm gonna bring some of that blue down. So now we have it all like tying in together. Make sure my lash line, the other day I did my makeup and I could see that my lash line like right, there was like a little white space. <laughs> right between my eyelashes and the color. And I was like, oh, better make sure I blend that real good. All right, so this that blue color is amazing. I'm loving it. Now there are a couple of shades you could use for a highlight. This, I know it looks like really gold, but it could actually use, you could use that as a brow highlight and an inner corner highlight. Um, I think because this is so dark, I kind of want a light highlight in the, right in here. And if not, we'll just, uh, just go with it. Yeah. Because my eyes are like very dramatic right now, I'm not gonna do my I'm not gonna do crazy brows, but I am gonna get some lashes on here. That blue is just looking really pretty, you guys. The color of that blue is really nice. And they all kind of like blended right. All these shadows blended right in together like really easily and really nicely. All right, so there's my lashes on. I'm gonna put a little bit of waterproof mascara on because the bare minerals excuse me bare minerals I cannot talk today it doesn't fully set and it will smudge all over me before the day is out that was like a very easy dramatic eye like quick and easy let's see what do we got it's only been nine minutes and 35 seconds for the eye and that's with me talking and all of that oh let me do some brows mostly because my brows are just crazy they're like they're all over the place oh well it looks like I don't even have 
a brow product today, so okay, I guess that's actually it. Um, I have got on today this lip gloss, Marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals lip gloss in Superpower. Um, this is like a shimmery gold. Yeah, it's kind of like a shimmery gold, but it's almost like clear. No, it's more, it's like a shimmery gold. You can't really see it very well on my hand. I'll put it over here. There, you see that? It's like a shimmery gold. It works perfect if you want a nude lip. Like if you just want a nude lip, little glossy, no fuss nude lip, works good. If you have lips similar to my color, which are like, kind of like a light mauve pink color. Okay, so there we are. Again, like you can make this palette, you can make this as dramatic or as natural as you want because you have the options. You have all these options and these shimmery colors, these they're very they're like metallics. They're very beautiful. They um you can like just sweep those all over your lid and just have this bright, beautiful like wide-eyed just really beautiful look that's not like it's not dramatic but it just packs such a punch because it's so shimmery and metallic and yet it looks like you just didn't put any effort into it at all just you just came out looking that beautiful <laughs> it's these these eyeshadows are really good so okay thank you guys for watching tune in for tomorrow I'm really excited about tomorrow's video and I have got only two more palettes left for palette grab bag um, now I've been kind of in and out of action for the past couple of weeks because I got sick my daughter got sick um, my kids are in uh, uh, a uh, school competition so they're working on music and uh, recitation and just a bunch of different things so um, hopefully once that gets all you know squared away then I can be more consistent with these and I so appreciate anyone um, subscribing liking commenting um, I would love to like get some feedback just talk to you guys I'm not on any other social media I don't do Facebook Twitter or Instagram um, at all so um, I would just appreciate it if you would like share my videos with people um, and just if you watch it all I'm so thankful for that and I um, I hope you enjoy these videos anything that you want to see leave in the comments um, I would really I just would really appreciate a little you know some more feedback and just to be connected to you guys a little bit more um, and uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for a, a very exciting video <laughs> bye